Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading for November 2021. Um, this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, you could have planets in the sign of Pisces. I just feel like whatever brought you, welcome. Um, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to start with the Mother Mary Oracle deck. You're the last sign I'm doing this month, um, but I always find the last seems to be the best. So, we'll see. You know, we are in an Aries full moon, um, but then moving into a Taurus. So, I feel like the Aries for you um, is about maybe... Um, You know, it's cutting out, out out the old so new things can come in. And then you move into the Taurus um, full moon, which I feel is a very stabilizing energy for you. You know, I feel that you and Taurus um, and Scorpio are really, I feel like the three get along very, very well. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and begin with Mother Mary. This is an oracle deck. All these, all my decks are pre-shuffled, by the way. Okay, that did not take long. We have trust. I know that God, in his infinite wisdom and love, is answering my prayers right now. Beautiful. So I need to trust in that. We'll, we'll read that at the end from the book, um... You understand, like if you stick around to the end, you understand why. Um, it's just so profound at the end. All right, we're gonna bring in our major arcanas. So we're just taking a few of these, and this is like our bullet points for the reading. They may tell their own little story on top of that. We have the hangman. Now we have the Empress. Um, some of you may have put on hold some type of creative project uh, that maybe you're unsure about. Maybe you didn't know if the timing was right. I feel like the timing is definitely coming up now, especially being in the Aries full moon. The Empress, very, very uh, creative. You know, she reminds me a lot of Pisces because she's very empathetic and very compassionate. But honestly, she has learned that from her experiences. So I just feel like there's some type of um, maybe a creative project you're not sure about. Some of you may have been putting off motherhood. We shall see. Let's see if anything, there we go. And then we have the devil, which has been coming out a lot uh, for this month. Card of Capricorn. I don't really read these um, major arcanas as people, though you certainly can. So, you know, the devil talks about temptation. Um, talks about your dark side, right? Which we all have. We have the light, we have the dark. There's always the opposite to everything. Um, you know, I feel like some of you are just almost like in a state of limbo of whether you should move forward with something. I think I'm going to use the Light Seer's Tarot for you. I like it for water signs. I like it for all signs, but I particularly like it for the water signs. Pre shuffled. see what's going on I am working on your numerology for 2022 um, slowly but surely I'll have it out before the end of the year hopefully before that
we have the Five of Swords. You know, first of all, five talks about change. We are in the universal year five. So changes are going to happen, um, sometimes whether we want them or not. Uh, I feel like they're always for our benefit, though. We have the death card, card of Scorpio, but this is the card of endings. Um, but there's an ending so that you can have a rebirth in your life. So something new can begin in your life, some type of new energy. You know, the Five of Swords definitely talks about toxicity that may be around you that, you know, you can end up absorbing um, and therefore kind of get stuck in that energy. It feels like someone's a little stuck in that energy right now. This can be anyone. This can be family members. This can be work. We have the Hermit, Carter Virgo. You know, the hermit ultimately becomes the master teacher. And the reason the hermit can become the master teacher is because the hermit in himself, herself, has chosen to, chosen to walk through the dark night of the soul, um, knowing that, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's interesting because I feel like someone is also like um, trying to overcome something that may not be beneficial to you. Um, and seeking help in that. Many of you may be, may be becoming um, a master teacher in some format. Now, it can be at the beginning, right? But the hermit, you know, emerges from that cave wise, much wiser than, we went, than when the hermit went in. You know, number nine talks about reflection. We have the King of Wands. Can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be any of them. Try to get all your cards out before I talk, which probably won't happen. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming under that Five of Swords. So something within the home right now feels... Um, if nothing else is making you scratch your head. We have the Five of Cups. Two fives. I've had a lot of motherly type energy in the readings uh, for November, like mothers who have crossed on. This could certainly talk about that. And, um... <sighs> You know, first of all, I feel like, you know, allowing yourself to heal from that energy and then to receive, um, receive the guidance from, from good old mom. We have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. We have the King of Cups coming under the King of Wands. Some of you may be trying to make a decision between two people. Who's better for me? We have the Three of Wands. That's good. We have the Fool. So, you know, the Fool is listening to the Death card, saying, okay, I'm going to give myself a new beginning, a new chance. Um, I'm not carrying the weight of the past with me. There's no need to. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the King and the Queen of cups but though they both share this eight of swords energy <clears throat> um something is not one that you know maybe i don't want to see something that um you know i'm protecting myself here in the eight of swords at least that's what i think you know the eight of swords really its meaning is a self-created prison self-created now usually created due to outside sources, right? But then we end up taking it on. And I feel that's why we opened up with the Five of Swords. Definitely, you know, toxic type energy, which may be um, causing you to have a harder time moving forward or making a decision or closing a door on one thing so that something new can begin. 
you know, have the hermit um, above this Eight of Swords. It's interesting that we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is a very solid type energy, right? This is this is really where I have all that I need, all that I want. Um, and I feel like, I do feel like someone was taken out of that, um, out of the Ten, right? And brought down to a uh, singular type energy. But as I say that, I also feel that um, there is still a lot of toxicity with that. The five of swords or the five of cups can be the energy of when, you know, we start feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, we have every reason, you know, this isn't, there's no judgment here. It's just what it is, right? We start to, um, and, and why is that? Because we're missing something. We're missing something that we had that is no longer there. Um, you know, it, it moves from the 10 into the five. So I feel like, it can even talk about a person. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's the energy that kind of had you hung up for a while. I think some of you definitely are choosing between two people. to get your last card out with this deck I use a couple different decks because I love looking for the synchronicities so we had the king and queen of cups sharing this eight of swords let's see what else they're going to share each in their own right fearful of Probably change. You know, eight is about a new beginning. The four is about a new beginning. The fives are about change. But these changes are to give you a sense of freedom. To free you from um, the toxicity that was. But the eight of swords says this is something, you know, this, this self-created prison is something that only you yourself can look at, reflect upon, and then eliminate and with the hermit right above that i have no doubt that you can do that this queen looks very connected <coughs> excuse me we have the four of cups that is connected to the six of cups interesting because you know first of all the four of cups gives me the feeling of that I'm daydreaming about something. There's something that I would like in my life, but right now it's just like in a daydream. Um, but I feel like the energy is saying it doesn't have to be a daydream. It can be what you want it to be, um, but it is something I feel like, you know, first of all, changes probably have to take place. Um, you know, that's what the death card tells us. You know, close the old doors. There may be someone that... Uh, you had the Ten of Pentacles with, and for whatever reason, you know, toxicity became part of that, that energy. Um, and then I feel like, I feel like there may be someone of past that you daydream about, or they daydream about you, or, or both ways. Um, but it doesn't feel like action had been taken towards it. You know, Six of Cups is someone that I have, um really loving memories of um, someone of the past someone can be of your childhood of your younger years um, but they're definitely it's you know it's a nostalgic type of energy so I feel like I may be with someone now who is stifling me in some way I don't feel like it was all bad I do feel like you know maybe half of it was good and then the end of it not so good um for whatever the reason you know for whatever the reason you may have someone who left you um and that never feels good right but truth be told sometimes they're doing you a favor because i feel like where you're moving to or who you're moving towards um is going to be much more like you much more like-minded <clears throat> you know um 
I don't know if it's always good for Pisces with another Pisces, but like I love Pisces with Scorpio. Um, I love Pisces with Taurus. Um, not so much with like Leo, uh, Virgo, and Libra. They're a little bit more, you know, different. Um, because I feel like this is like-minded energy and I know I'm giving you certain signs. I don't want you to just look for that. It's just what I'm feeling. Um, let's move this all up a little bit. And I'm going to bring the lid down a little bit more. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is often receiving epiphanies, receiving ideas. Um, ideas keep coming to you and um, what, it, you know, what you do with them. I feel like the Page of Swords is learning the art of communication, um, learning to gain their voice, um, learning their uniqueness in the world. You know, sometimes we feel like we're just thrown here and we have like no support. But we have a lot of support. We just have to connect to it. So I feel like some of you, it's like these epiphanies coming to you. And I feel like it's time, like it's time to put them into action. That may be what I was feeling right off the get-go where some of you have these creative projects. And um, listen, I feel like, you know, it's like, um, you know, you're like your band, like you're a rock band, right? And you keep going to different studios, you keep getting, you're trying to get a record deal and you keep hearing no, no, no. But then all of a sudden the right company signs you um, and, and you know it from the get go, like, okay, now I understand what all those no's were about. They were to move me to, first of all, I feel like it, it's good to have that energy of, I don't know, knowing a no, you know, um, so I feel like, you know, I, I, and I feel like you're being guided a lot here. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Tarot and let's just go ahead and get into this. Already pre shuffled. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, you know, and I also feel some of you, uh, you know, you could have lost. Um, like a husband or a wife and I'm saying lost but you know like they crossed over um, and you may be feeling like that urge to have love in your life again I feel like you need to trust that because I, f I definitely feel again guidance is coming to you uh, or let me put it a different way it's like if you stay open to the flow of the universe, I feel like you'll flow right to your next partner. Some of you may be reconnecting with someone of the past. Um, and I want to say if you're reconnecting with someone of the past, I have a feeling that there was love there. Maybe that love never went away. But yet our lives took different turns, right? And I feel like someone... You know, you may have ended up um, with the King of Wands, male or female. Um, but now here's this King of Cups. This could certainly talk about communication, where you feel the communication is going to come in. We have the Star. So, it, you know what that feels like? It feels like someone's stifling you from... Um, living a certain dream that you want that is a card of Aquarius also look at this we have the ten of Pentacles coming over the death card um, so 
well, what else do we have? We have the Seven of Wands coming over the Hermit. So this is what I feel. I feel like at one time I had this Ten of Pentacles. It was, it was my life. Something happened. Um, something became toxic. And I feel like that Ten of Pentacles was then taken away. Um, taken away, I don't know if that's the right word, but let's just say cut in half. Or I became single, whatever, however I want to say that. Um, but I don't feel like that's the end for you. I don't feel like that's like, that's it. You'll never have the Ten of Pentacles again. Quite the opposite. I feel like, um, you know, you want to put in the energy also, though, the intention that you're going to have this Ten of Pentacles again, um, because this is talking about a rebirth. And then you have the Fool here, which is all about that. Um, so if I would... I guess if I was going to look at the old Ten of Pentacles, what I would say is somehow it became toxic. Somehow it became, there was, there was a lot of ego in it. Um, somehow because of it, I created a lot of armor around me. It can be both ways, right? Maybe communication just stopped. You know, whatever its reason um, I do feel like it was time to end, even if that's not what I wanted. Um, but with enough time, I feel like then you have the understanding of why. Um, you know, whoever was in this Ten of Pentacles, can that it be them again? It can always be them again. Um, but in this reading, I'm kind of feeling like, you know, I had it with this king, this Ten of Pentacles, but then I feel like, you know, Things became very emotional. Things became, um, you know, a lot of um, ego. Um, I feel like, you know, at one time, maybe I thought this person was my dream person. Um, so that's hard. That's hard, right? But, you know, I feel like I have to say, I feel like maybe they were at that time. But I feel like there's someone new who you'll then call your dream person and you'll understand it when you get there. Um, hopefully even before that. The Hermit is looking at this ego type energy. You know, the Seven of Wands is where I feel like I need to defend myself. Someone needs to defend themselves, right? Um, and why? Why? Um, because, you know, listen, maybe, maybe truth wasn't being told. Um, maybe you could never get to the truth, but you felt it, right? But I couldn't get, like, I couldn't get the proof, the evidence, but I could feel it. Um, and I feel like if you feel that, you got to trust that. Now, if you're in the right state of mind, I should say. Look at that, justice. So, cutting ties from one king. But don't even worry, because there's another one. There's another one waiting. So I do feel like this is the cutting of ties with someone. Um, can can be a literal divorce. Um, but listen, why? Why would I cut ties with this person? Because you weren't feeling whole within this relationship. And you have every right to feel whole within a relationship. So I feel like that is part of it. You know, maybe it's not even something you wanted, but it came anyways. Um, you know, because I feel like who's ever, whoever left, at, you know, at least in the end, and when I say the end, I'm, I'm thinking like five years, like, you know, not just like the end couple months, but for a while. I felt like problems were building and building and building. Look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles coming over the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> First of all, if you are thinking of doing anything creative out of your home relating to your Pentacles, this is beautiful energy for that, especially with the star above that. You know, I feel like sometimes people stifle us from our truth, from our true path. Um, now, meant to be, you know, remember, even the hard things are meant to be. Um, our soul wants to learn these lessons. So, anyways, um, I've been picking this up a lot for November, too, where, um, you, you know, 
creating your pinnacles, um, becoming successful for yourself seems to be very, very important. This is the card of success, by the way. And if you're doing out of the home, I feel like it's even, uh, even more. We have the magician, the creator, also the teacher. You know, the first person the fool meets along this new journey is the magician. The magician <clears throat> is the teacher for the fool to remind the fool that all the tools that you that you will need for this next journey, um, you already possess them, and to remind yourself of that, right? Um, the magician seems to be recreating the Ten of Pentacles, maybe for oneself. You know, it doesn't always have to have a partner, but it can talk about you and your family, you and your children, that type of thing. Um, I feel eventually it's going to include someone else, but right now it seems like the important energy is more to concentrate on you and what you want to build um, it's this nine of pentacles directly connected to the star. So it's your dream. Um, and the magician says you have the ability to create it. You just have to know that you just have to tell yourself that, you know, don't carry the past, just the lessons of the three of wands is a very optimistic viewpoint, um, of my future. You know, I feel sometimes like, Maybe we can become codependent in a relationship and, um, you know, and then, and then have money woes, right? Because let's say I'm staying home and taking care of the kids and um, my partner is the one who's working. Well, because I'm not physically bringing in money, at least for me, and I'm a Virgo, um, you know, I, I never it's hard to feel secure um now i guess if you're right with the right person that wouldn't apply um but i am feeling that so i feel like i have to say that like there may have been a codependent type relationship and um for whatever the reason the ties have been cut whether you cut them they cut them or the universe came in and cut them um it it's with purpose it's so that you can now create I feel like your dream, um, your stability, we got a lot of nines. So I feel like the reflection becomes part of your wisdom. And who knows, you may be using this. We have the eight of wands. Look at that. The eight of wands coming over the eight of swords. Um, and with the magician right beside that, I have to, it's like I have to give you a warning of what I think about, I bring about. The Eight of Swords is going to limit what comes back to me. Um, because in the Eight of Swords, you know, I'm not really, I don't believe my dreams can come true. I don't believe that I can find a special type of love. It's hard for me to believe it. Why? Because of, of my past, because of the things that have happened. Um, but this is the energy you need to clear, right? That's what the Nine just saying. Reflect upon that. And, um, and, and why? Because a lot of times I feel like things that people do to us, of course, we're going to take personally, but sometimes I feel like people are like certain people are tied to um, a certain energy, let's say temptations that they themselves have to learn to break, right? It's like, it's like their course to learn and then to break. There's really nothing I feel like you could have done um, because it's their, it's their journey with that. So all I'm saying is being careful that, you know, these five of swords over here don't then become who you are, right? Remember who you are, truly learning your own voice again. Um, the eight of wands is fast moving energy. So next to the magician, what I think about, I bring about interesting that's coming over the five of cups too. So with the six of cups right here too, you know, I could have been in this mess up here um, and my mind could have gone back to someone of the past. 
So, you know, don't think you can't manifest that type of energy. You you know, it does take your action. Um, it's not magic. It doesn't just, something won't just fall in your lap. But I feel like your intention um, of how you're going to see your future is everything. We have judgment. Call to attention. This is about the present moment, not the past. This is your um, ancestors. This is your spiritual team uh, is calling you into action. Coming over this king. And then we have the empress again. Coming over the three of wands. Um, some of you may be starting a new family. Well, we have the Six of Cups again coming right over the Fool and the Five of Cups. So um, I know people get tired of hearing that people from the past are coming back, but that is just reality. And I can tell you from the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of personal readings I have done, um, at least 30%, they do come back and it does feel... Um, I feel like, you know, it then lasts uh, perhaps for eternity. So I do feel like um, someone's coming back. We have the Four Swords. Um, touching that Eight of Swords, that's great news. That's healing. That's healing over these, these armors that I created Again, usually due to other people's opinion of me, let's say. And then we have the Page of Cups, what I often call my, um, I was going to say my Fool, but it's really the Page of Wands. Page of Cups is, uh, first of all, I feel like this page is talking about a younger love. A love in a younger time, let's say. Um... I feel like part of your journey here has been to learn your voice, learn your uniqueness, and then to put it into action. Um, not just in love, but particularly in your creative areas, um, in how you make money, um, all of that. A lot of, a lot of us use our experiences um, then in our our career so to speak so I feel like that's partly what this is saying your past um, you know I had the ten of cups I thought that was it something does seem to I don't have a tower um, but I kind of feel it um, so you know whatever reason it ends um, but I feel like you know with the five and the five here maybe enough was enough right enough was enough I feel like, um, I do feel like someone is like, it's almost like you gave up your dreams. You gave up the dream of the type of life you, you maybe had always seen for yourself. Um, listen, this person up here that you eventually, let's say made a home with, um, may just have been a karmic lesson, um, because I feel like they themselves were tied to a darker type energy and um therefore kind of pulled you into it and i feel like what you needed to do was break free um and then i feel like once you break free and then once you clear that energy right because the death card says closing of the door but not because everything is over it's so that you can have a rebirth that's exactly what judgment talks about also the present moment and allow yourself to have a rebirth the trumpet is looking right down to the six of cups um coming over this king king and queen you know what did what they share they shared that eight of swords but what did they also share the four of swords healing um and i feel like honestly that when this starts to produce the energy starts moving. I feel like um, it's almost like this is going to be a very fast, um, like falling in love quickly. 
why am I saying that? I feel like maybe the love never left, but it but it had to be pushed back, and now I feel like it is fr you're free to explore it. Um, definitely free to explore it. I don't feel like anyone that's coming in again from the past or the future um, is connected to anyone else. Doesn't mean they weren't. You know, maybe sometimes we have to wait for someone else to free themselves. Um, it's something that we can't do for them. Okay. I'm going to look at a couple cards before. I want to look at. Um, I want to look at the Six of Cups coming over the full. Um, but it also has the Five of Cups below it. And the Magician above it. Just get a little better understanding. We have that Four of Cups again. Hello, lovers. So, this is a connection, no doubt. This is probably a connection that you probably, um, even though I've lived my life and I've done a million different things and I've been with other people, um, it may be something that just never left. We have the King of Swords. Um, you know, next to the lovers can certainly be a Gemini. Uh, Libra Aquarius we do have Libra also on the table and then look at this we have the high priestess so in particular I'm looking at this six of cups with the fool's energy first thing that wants to come out is the four of cups well we already have that that's also connected to this six of cups so it's like inactivity though I'm daydreaming about it listen um, our thoughts produce action um, even if we're not doing anything. So, you know, this is spiritual discernment. And it can be spiritual discernment over, over which direction to go, which person to choose, so to speak. Um, but again, the lovers tells me that there is a special connection. Listen, it doesn't have to be I was in love with them. But I probably loved him in some fashion i could have loved him as a friend um i you know whatever it is um but still i feel like there's some type of connection there the high priestess is all about your intuition i feel like even um it's like uh divine giving us a peek behind the curtain to like a little peek at your potential future right if this is what you go after if this is what you want because the magician is the creator remember that it all starts with the magician creating um and i can create from negative energy and i can create from positive energy so the three of wands is saying have an optimistic viewpoint of your future no matter what your past look like if you don't you know if you didn't like your past and you don't want to repeat it that means the nines give you the opportunity to reflect upon it so you don't repeat it. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like there's just this little tingling within you of, of, of someone, um, someone special. Okay, well, let's go over to this six and let's see what it wants to bring out. The six of, uh, six of cups. Because I feel like your ancestors are all behind it. We have, look at this, the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. Um, you know, I feel like when I think of the wheel over here, maybe I was at the bottom of the wheel, right? Even though I began at the top, then I feel like it went to the bottom. Um, and a lot of it may not have been, like you may not have had a lot of control over that. But I feel like your time is coming back around. I do feel like it's with someone different though. Um, I do feel like this person is going. 
um, whether it was your choice or not. Now listen, I'm not telling you anything that's going to happen. This would have already happened. Um, and then I feel like this other king is who's coming in. I say that because we have the Knight of Cups and we're only looking at the Six of Cups and I, and I feel them as people of the past. Knight of Cups. This is about, this knight is bringing you a cup of fulfillment. Something that perhaps makes your dreams come true. At least part of those dreams, right? Don't forget, like, I feel like the energy also talks about you creating and you building. Um, maybe say you never become codependent again. Nobody becomes codependent on you, right? This is a very solid, independent type energy. Now, when I say independent, that doesn't mean you can't have love at the same time. I feel like you're even freer to love when your foundation is strong. So, Knight of Cups is, is love that is coming in, um, at least the offer of it. In the wheel, I feel like if I had anything to fear, well, this kind of takes it away for me. So, maybe two people are daydreaming about each other, and one ultimately makes the move this could be you making the move also like reconnecting to someone um and i feel like you would already know who i'm talking about so pisces you know you know me i don't like to always say people are coming back but i also um deal in reality and um you know from experiences and um I know how often people come back. Matter of fact, I'm living that life myself, right? I'm with someone that I was with when I was 16, um, 40 years, you know, and then we're apart for 40 years. So you just never know. Um, but I feel like you do know who's in your heart. And that's what I'm feeling. And I'm feeling um, something I've got to consider is whatever happened up here with this person, I don't want to carry that angst with me, right? I don't want to take that along with me um, because these are two different people. So I don't want to put that energy boom on this opportunity, this chance for um, a true relationship. Let's not forget, we have, it's like, I feel like I had the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it was taken away, but here I am recreating it. Um, and when I say recreating it, number one, you're thinking about your own pentacles, um, your own independence, probably first and foremost. Um, and and the re and I feel like that puts you in very solid type energy. So when this ends up happening, you know these those fives aren't part of it. Okay, I feel like that was very clear. Um, is there anything else I want to look at? You know, I feel like some of you are becoming a mother. Um, it just may not have been with the person that you thought, but listen. You know, I feel nothing negative down here. Um, I feel everything very loving down here. And, you know, what comes before this takes place? The Four of Swords the healing process and like that's what the hangman is here for right it's a temporary um hold um because in the hangman i'm seeking the wisdom of my next step okay i mean i think i'm gonna leave it there because i don't know I, it just feels very clear to me um but let's go ahead and retrust by Mother Mary. Trust. You ask this question because you desire reassurance that everything is going to be okay. This card asks you to trust that indeed it will be by relaxing with faith and trusting in God's infinite intelligence. You open the doorway to the answers to your prayers. In this way, you are more receptive to hearing heavenly guidance, which gives you intuitive instructions about which action steps to take. As you take them, you bring about divine results. 
This card promise you, promises you a favorable resolution to your current situation, even if it differs from your expectations. Mother Mary lovingly asks you to step out of the way so that God's handiwork has a room to enter. Surrender any fears, worries, or desires to control the outcome. Trust in God's infinite wisdom and love. Beautiful. <clears throat> you know, and that's talking about the Eight of Swords, right? Breaking free from that energy um, and trust. Trust that, um, you know, I feel like usually better than I expected comes in when I'm allowing myself to go with the flow. Yes, take that moment to allow yourself to heal. Take that moment to seek your next step. But when it's time to take action, take action. Who knows? Maybe you are this knight who is going to um, try to reconnect with someone else. I feel like um, if, you know, I feel like whichever, whoever it is and whatever direction it goes, both of them are, both of you and this person seem to be in very similar type energy. So don't be surprised if you find that like, maybe this person you heard the person you were in the ten of pentacles with again you know just didn't last um you may find that they had a similar situation i do feel that again they're free and clear um if not that can be a little bit of what divine timing is about right they have to work out their own issues but this eight of wands tells me energy is moving fast so i feel like when this connection takes place and I'm pretty confident it will if I free myself that it will move quickly and usually um, I always say take things slow allow people to reveal themselves um, trust your intuition don't second guess it and do all of that but in the same time sometimes things do move very quickly you know this lovers uh, though it can be a Gemini right can be a head over heart decision I am feeling the connection and I am feeling it the connection to someone of the past can be a past life um, but I kind of feel like you already know him again it did not have to be a romantic connection but in some way you know, like if I think about them um, it brings a smile to my face they may have even been like your escape make your escape mechani mechanism mechanism um, you know as things are very hard here my mind i'd let my mind wander to you know yesteryear so don't think that part of that wasn't part of the manifestation it's like when i allow my mind to wander there is the universe then reading it as okay this is what what they're asking for um and i feel like so similar energy um because all the cards are so similar and we end with the wheel as the last card destiny there's nothing to fear here there's just nothing to fear here um i feel like you know you do need to be bold the three of wands i feel is a very is bold um action um the willingness to take a chance the full right here right the willingness to begin from the beginning um not bringing the energy of a person who did me wrong into the next right allowing that to heal first again we have the queen and the king and um they're not only sh sharing the eight of swords they're also sharing the four of swords so both of them seem to have gotten stuck um but both of them i feel like free themselves and both of them um take advantage of the healing of divine or of the universe or whatever you want to say seems like once that happens boom here comes in this knight of pentacles um your intuition is everything here right and judgment your spiritual team is saying this is not about yes to you now i mean it can be a person there but your signs come to you in the present moment you just gotta trust right trust that's what that's that what's meant for you will find you but you also want to be a participant in your own life too so i think i'm going to leave it there guys um to me it was a very very clear 
um, I hope you see it that way too. Um, I'm not telling anyone to leave anyone. If you, you know, if there's a relationship where, you know, maybe it can work. Um, but I feel like who I'm reading for, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like it can work. Um, and some of you may have already uh, cut ties, right? Again, whether it was you cutting the ties or even against your will. And and I know the pain that causes, but I have to tell you, I feel like it's putting you in place. There's a lot of little work that needs to be done um, so that you can have it in the best way possible, right? But your foundation, your stability, and you working on that first and foremost seems to be the most important, right? You want to feel very stable in a relationship. I feel like someone's also doing like um, tarot readings for like twin flames and maybe you don't always trust what you receive. I feel like you just need to trust it. Like don't overthink, you know, what you get. Just read what you get. Um, because I feel like there's like, ah, I just overthink it or I don't trust learn you know and i feel like the more you do it the more you'll learn to trust yourself i know i used to censor my readings or i do a reading i'd be like uh i don't know you know like i don't know if i should put that one out but then i i would put it out and then you guys would be like oh my god sandy thank god you put that the reading out you know what i mean so you don't like you don't always know who it's going to reach um, I just trust that it'll reach who it's meant to reach. So anyway, a little side note there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. Um, you know, I always feel bad for the person, who, the, the group who's read last, but don't worry about that because, um, yeah. Um, this is one of those readings where I'm going to be anxious to read your comments so you can fill in the blanks for me. Um, but again, the hangman starts the reading. So a pause in action. Um, but the eight of wands, it feels like now it's time for movement, right? I've been in this dream state for long enough. And now it's time for me to move into it. Like to, to say yes to this path and begin the action forward. I love you. Um, thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you for your donations. Truly what keeps the channel alive. Uh, you know, there's times I say to myself, I don't know how much longer I can stay on YouTube because, you know, it's just, it, um, financially it's very hard. Um, but I don't know how I could ever leave you guys. That's the thing. Like, that's the thing. So I want to just thank you for helping me in all the ways that you do. Sharing the videos um, across your social media platforms means the world to me. Um, you know, you're a big part of my channel's success. You're everything. So I'm eternally grateful for you. Um, and my wish is that your dreams come true. I love you guys. I'll see you next time at my table. Bye-bye.